Okay, so now I'm back in the Java perspective. Uh, just quick review to switch perspectives. Um, I can go over here, and that lets me switch between Java and Git repository perspective. Um, I can only switch by going to window and open perspective, and yeah, that way. So I want to go into the Java perspective. Okay, um, I'm going to uh, create a new project. So I'm going to go File, and I'll say New, and then I'll say Java Project. Not project, it's Java Project. And I'll give it a name, so maybe I'll call it. I mean, your, your project name should probably be either an assignment or something else, so um, suppose I say assignment uh, 11, let's say, for my last name. Or my Wentworth login, I should say. Okay. Uh, Alright, and I'll say next. And finish. Okay. Alright, so now I have a whole bunch of projects here. Let me go away. This is what I just created. This is this one over here. Right now it's rather empty. So if I want to uh, add a class to this project, um, I go to File new class, I can do that, or equivalently, I could we're just right click on this guy and just go to new and then class, either way, so whichever, whichever whatever floats your boat. So say file new class, and I'll just call this, um, so give it a name, and um, just for fun, um, if you want to run this uh, class, you can click the, this checkmark here. And that's the main method. I'll click finish. And right now I'll just say, uh, first Java tutorial. that. I can save it that way. Okay. And what I'm going to do over here, uh, now what I want to do, so I've created a project, I added a class to the project. If I want to um, commit this, if I want to add this to my Git repository, okay, I need to do a couple of things. So the first thing is this. I'm going to right click on the project, I'm going to go down to team, and then share project. I'm going to go to git, and then I'm going to go to my repository. You know, only I can write to my repository. Okay. And then I'll say finish. So now you'll see, uh, by the way, what you're going to see here is a bunch of question marks. You'll see. Uh, that just means that Git is not is not aware of what's inside of your project. It, it knows that you've added this, but it doesn't. Um, it it says, okay, well I see these things. They're not recorded locally, so I need to record. Um, I need to record these changes locally. So Git is um, tracks revisions. So and the way it does that is it. Um, it keeps a local copy of the entire project history as well as uh, allows you to push things uh, to a server. So what I need to do is I need to right click over here and I'll say team and then commit. And I'll just say my awesome code. You might want to have a more informative commit message. Now the first, you know, we're not, we can't commit just yet. We need to do something. We need to select what files we want to commit. So I'm going to say, select all of them, and then I can now commit. So, by the way, if you don't see this here, that means you didn't configure your username and email. So you should see something looks nice here. If it doesn't look nice, you need to go find the video uh, that talks about how to set up your Git username and email. Okay. Anyway. So, so this is these are the files I want to commit. So I'll say commit, 
And then now you notice that this switch from question marks to a bunch of, well, we have this little, looks like, it looks like a cylinder thing. That means that Git now is aware of what we did. And okay, great. So now I'm gonna, um, suppose I make a change, right? It's supposed to make one more change. I'm gonna get rid of some things. I want to go back over here. I need to get rid of this to-do here. I already did it, so I'm gonna save that again. Okay. And you might get something like this that says, the original file has been deleted or not accessible. Don't worry about that, just say okay. And it'll say the, the opposite thing. It'll say, oh, it already exists, even though it says it's not accessible. So sometimes Eclipse gets confused. So just say yes, don't worry about it. Okay, so now here's what, so here's something I want you to notice. You notice that you have these greater than signs here. When you see a greater than sign, it means that you've modified a file. So you've modified something inside this uh, folder. In fact, it shows you that you've modified the tutorial file. That's what that means. So if you ever see a greater than sign, it means you modified something and you haven't committed it yet. So I'm gonna commit this change. I'm gonna right click on the project. And I'll say team and then commit. And you'll notice here, this is the file that we changed. So uh, Git keeps track of changes. So got rid of to do's. Okay. And I'll say commit. Okay, so now that those greater than signs go away. So now what I want to do is I want to share my changes with others. So even though I've committed, I haven't actually shared these changes at all. It's only been recorded locally. So in order to share my changes, I need to right click again. I go team and I go to push to upstream. So this shares my history to everyone else. So I say push to upstream, and I enter in my username and password here. So, okay, and I'll click OK. Great, and it says it pushed this to the repository. To right, and I'll say OK. Great, good. Oh, and all right, sure. Um, Sure, I'm not gonna do that. If you want to, you can follow the prompts. I'm not gonna bother with that. Okay, great. So now I'm done. I've pushed my changes out to for everyone else to see it.